Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to derive the area of a minor segment contained within a sector inside a circle. To derive this proof, we need to know that over here we have an isosceles triangle. And this angle over here at the top is theta. Since it has been split in two, this triangle over here has been split in two. This angle over here is going to be theta over two, and the same for this angle over here. This over here is a right angle, so it's pi over two. As we have this situation, what we can use is Sokotoa to get the length over here in blue and to get the length of this part over here in green. Now the area of a sector is half r squared times theta, okay? And this r over here is this radius over here and also to the right. So if we want the area of this full sector, which contains the minor segment, what we use is half r squared times theta. This formula here is going to be required to derive the area of the minor segment. Now let's find the length over here in blue, which goes halfway, and also the length over here in green. To do this, we're going to use Sokotoa, okay, and the angle theta over 2. If we are working with this angle theta over 2 over here, then the green length is going to be the adjacent side, and the blue length is going to be the opposite side. So we know what Sokotoa is, and for cos theta over 2, we're going to have adjacent over hypotenuse. So this green line over here over the hypotenuse, which is R, okay? So this gives us A over R. If we multiply both sides of this equation by R, what we get is the adjacent side is R cos theta over two. So let's write this down over here. So this over here, is r times cos theta over 2. Now how about this blue length over here which goes halfway? Well, sine theta over 2 is going to be opposite which is the blue length over hypotenuse which is r. So we get sine theta over 2 is opposite over r. If we multiply both sides of this equation by r, what we get is opposite is equal to r sine theta over 2. And I'm going to write this down over here. So r sine theta over 2. Okay, so this green length is r cos theta over 2. And this blue length is r sine theta over 2. This means we can get the area of this isosceles triangle, okay, and subtract it from the area of the segment, or sorry, the sector, in order to get the minor segment over here in grey. To derive the area of the minor segment in gray, we require this trigonometric formula, sine a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. Let's say we have a random angle, and let's call it phi. Because of this trigonometric formula up here, sine phi plus phi is going to be sine phi cos phi plus cos phi sine phi, and that is equivalent to 2 sine phi cos
cos phi. Now let's say we replace phi with theta over 2. What we end up with is sine theta, because 2 times theta over 2 is theta, is equal to 2 sine theta over 2 times cos theta over 2. If we multiply both sides of this equation over here by a half, what we get is half sine theta is equal to sine theta over 2 times cos theta over 2. With this formula over here, we can simplify the equation for the area of the minor segment, okay? Because over here, we have a length r sine theta over 2, and we have this green length r cos theta over 2. Okay, what is the area of this isosceles triangle over here? Well, it's going to be, so the area of the isosceles triangle is going to be 2 multiplied by r sine theta over 2 times r cos theta over 2 times a half, okay? So we're getting two of these over here, two of these right-angled triangles that make up the area of the isosceles triangle, okay? So I'm going to put over here two times a half times r cos theta over two times r sine theta over 2. Now these 2's over here cancel each other out. We have an r over here, and we have an r over here, and that is the same as r squared, and I'm going to put sine theta over 2 over here, and cos theta over 2 over here, okay? But recall that half sine theta is the same as sine theta over 2 times cos theta over 2. This means, right, that this over here can be replaced. So what we end up with is the area of the isosceles triangle is equal to half r squared times sine theta, okay? Now to get the area of the minor segment, we simply have to get the area of the sector okay, and subtract the area of this isosceles triangle from it, okay? So we're going to get this area of a sector formula over here, and we're going to subtract the area of the isosceles triangle from it. Now let's finalize this proof. So the area of the minor segment is going to be equal to the area of the sector minus the area of the isosceles triangle. This gives us half r squared times theta minus half r squared times sine theta. And this can be simplified to half r squared multiplied by theta minus sine theta. Okay? And this over here is actually the area of 
the minor segment. And we have our proof. If this video has been helpful to you and you want more mathematics proofs videos, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. For more written proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. You can see it on the screen, and there you'll get plenty of support with your algebra. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.